Welcome to Let's Talk About Our Feels, a short video series where we talk about women's mental health in relation to mindfulness practices. This is the third video in our series about mindfulness in connection to the series Ghost BFF, which you can watch by clicking here. Yay! In the previous videos, we've talked a bit about our minds and our focus, and now it's time to talk about our brains. Let's get technical for a sec, okay? Okay. Neuroscience has shown that 90% of brain activity occurs beneath conscious awareness, which means even when we think we have control of our feelings and thoughts, it's not really the case. In other words, you think you know, but you have no idea. Neuroplasticity is a new area of science which states that our brain is constantly being shaped and impacted by our experiences and thoughts. Basically, we experience the world through our stories about ourselves. And these stories can be positive or negative, and they color what we experience. But if you pay attention, you can choose to experience the world how you want to. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book. So try choosing positive stories so you end up feeling good. If we practice being calm, clear, and positive, these networks will become strengthened and our mood, responsiveness, and perspective will become the same. It's pretty cool. Think about how tie-dyeing a white t-shirt works. If you leave the t-shirt in dark, murky colors, the shirt will take on the same tone. This is similar to letting our brains soak up dark, upsetting thoughts and experiences. The longer it sits in the dye, the more permanent it becomes. But if the t-shirt soaks up different colors and shades, it emerges colorful, patterned, and totally unique. You know, the same goes for experiencing positive thoughts and feelings with our minds. So by immersing ourselves in the positive and in the present, we become closer to the world. This attitude of openness frees us from our regrets from the past, our habits, and our expectations. And we learn to just be. Now, getting back to the science, mindfulness practices have been proven effective in the treatment of hypertension, heart disease, chronic pain, and even PMS. It can help improve memory along with assisting with how we deal with stressful challenges and environments. All of this has been mapped as increased activity in the left prefrontal cortex of the brain. So the more mindfulness you practice, the busier your brain gets in, in a really good way. The next video, we talk about automaticity or what happens when our minds go on autopilot. And if you like this series, please tweet at us or direct message us. We would love to hear from you. And once again, we're always here to talk. So send us a message.